Hey everybody. Hey. Hi. Hey. I'm I'm Ken Wheeler. Uh, should follow me on Twitter. <laughs> should follow him on Twitter. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> but follow me on Twitter too. Sure, you can follow me if you want. <laughs> you gonna you gonna introduce yourself? I am Aaron Cordova, his sidekick for the evening. Alrighty. Yeah, and uh, today we're gonna we're gonna make some beats. So, uh, oh, before I get into that, um, I just want to let everybody know that uh, there's a new best podcast on the block. The best podcast ever. Uh, it's me and uh, Jared Palmer. Put a hand up. All right. Uh, yeah, so we, we have a new podcast, and you should subscribe to it and listen to it. It's going to be good. All right. Huh? Uh, just, can, yeah, just, just talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to listen to it. I'm trying so hard not to curse. <laughs> Wait, I'm doing okay? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I made a drum machine uh, with React and Hooks in the browser. It's called the, the Trap Lord 9000. And tonight I want to kind of show a little bit about how I built it, maybe add a feature or two, you know, I mostly teach about Hooks. Um, then we're going to make some sick beats, and Aaron here is going to kick some dope bars. Right? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Hey everybody, is my um my editor font size okay? <laughs> good. Okay, let's switch. <laughs> How about that? Look okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So here's a drum machine, right? Uh, just make it big, All right? Um, can I see a show of hands who's played with the the Web Audio API? All right. So everybody with their hands up knows why I imported Tone JS to handle that for me <laughs> instead of just writing it. Um, so I'm using Tone uh, to do the web audio, and then I import a bunch of stuff I'm going to talk about later. We do have a bunch of style components, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I have a config, right? And this could be dynamic or whatever, but I just made it static. Um, we have tracks, which is going to be each one of the sounds. Sorry, this gum's messing me up. I'm going to put it on my phone. Erica. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are, these are all the tracks, and then for each track, we have a sample. Um, and then we have these things called step state, right? So before, so you're gonna have to understand what's going on here. Uh, if you've not made dank beats before, uh, maybe I can tell, talk a little bit about how this works here, right? So uh, this is what's called a step sequencer. Do you wanna elaborate on that at all? So you basically are moving um, in time forward, obviously, because we can't go backwards. And you see the grid there, you got 16 spots. And you can basically turn on any one, any one of those squares, which represents a sound, and they will play as, as the sequence moves forward. And then it just turns around and loops because it's hip hop. So four, four, take yeah. a can. Can I get some, some noise, some, some sound volume? Yeah, I can't hear it. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> yeah, so you just fill these in. And they're different colors, right? Because the beginning of this one is going to kind of be like where the snare hits, like the, right? And then here, logically, what up? Whoa. She's. There you go. <laughs> right? So then, um, like most drum machines do this. Right, but this isn't most drum machines. It's the Trap Lord 9000. And if you're making dank trap music, right, you want kind of like that, like, right. So um, normally, like, it's really hard. You have to like double time it. But you know, I made this drum machine. This is my show. So I put in the same where if you shift click, right, it'll do this. What? Oh! And then down here we got these little loop buttons. Where you can start that up, or you can hold shift and it'll loop. <laughs> okay, so now we understand how that works. I'm just gonna clear it out for a minute. Um, let's talk about how it actually works, right? <laughs> So here, right, this is the initial step state, right? So it's all, uh, all this business right here, right? Um, so down here we have some hooks, right? We have use state, 
Uh, down, all right, so this is like set to set state. Um, buffers are the actual audio files, right? So you, you need to actually load those before you start playing them. Um, so we store them in there. And then we have the current step. I don't know if you saw, but if I go back real quick when I hit play, you see how you have that little thing that kind of shows you where you're at, right? That, that's kind of like indicative of the current set state. It's also used functionally, but I digress. Um, so to actually make things play in the browser, um, I just want to show right in here, we have a use effect. Right? And, and one thing to talk about, is, I guess, is that uh, you know, uh, use effect is kind of looked at as uh, like a replacement for component did mount or component did unmount. That's not really the case. It's kind of its own thing. I mean, it is the replacement, but it's totally its own thing, right? This thing just fires off side effects. And what's crazy is it fires it off uh, with these dependencies. The second argument here, this won't fire unless this changed. Right? So it's, it's, it's an amazing model for firing off side effects in response to state changes. Um, so this, right, the config doesn't change, so this just fires once. Uh, what we do in here is we kind of set it up, right? This tone.transport, your transport is the actual loop, right? The virtualized loop, right? The, the thing that's making it actually go. So I do this, this transport scheduling right here. Um, you come down here, it's on the 16th note, right? Because we have the 16 little steps, so it's going to go through each one of those. And then here, right, I'm just going through and I'm, I'm looping through the buffers, right? And then I'm looping through the steps. We set the steps to zero one or two. Zero means it doesn't play, one means it's on, and two means right? So uh, we, we do target buffer dot start if it's on, we do uh, target buffer start three times like that, right? If it's, if it's three of them, um, and then set the next one. So um, just, just to show what's going on up here, right? So we have a, a callback right here, and in this callback, right, we're, we're mutating stuff and we're accessing state um, so we have to use a ref for that because if you have a callback inside of effect, it'll kind of like cache it. Um, so you have to use a ref and the dot current if you want to get the current value there. All right. Um, so we have a couple other things here too. I'm just going to hop back up. Um, and one tight thing about hooks is that uh, it's kind of like the top of the file uh, kind of like shows like what this thing does. Sort of like how you see imports at the top of a module. Um, so down here we have, we have two special hooks, right? We have use start and we have use BPM. And these are special because uh, they're custom hooks, A, and B, they return components. So this is a pattern, this is my favorite hooks pattern so far. Um, so if we go back here, we look at our start button, and this is where we set our beats per minute. All right, so if we hop back here, uh, we see this is our value, and this is our component, right? When we go ahead and render this, down here we have our BPM selector and our start button. So, Let's just take a look at what that looks like, what a custom hooks looks like, right? So we've used BPM. This is just a bunch of style component stuff, but then inside of here, right? We have use start, right? It's actually used BPM, but I copied and pasted it and couldn't be bothered to change the name. Um, so we have the BPM, which is the value, right? The first value of your, your use state is the value. And then we have the setter um, and then we have set BPM, right? So the BPM is just a styled uh, input. Right, and on change, right, we're gonna call set BPM, we're gonna set this value. And the thing is what we're returning here. So when, when most hooks, right, see like uh, you have like the, the use state, right, it returns the value in the setter. Here, we're returning the value and then the component that sets it, right? So it's like a controlled component pattern. Um, start is very similar, right? You have on and you have set, right? We have toggle play, it's gonna set it on and off and then you just have a button, right? And it's gonna go on, stop, play. So when we come back here, right, we could go, we could have a snare here. <clears throat> get, a, get a little uh, volume up in here. Some volume, okay, volume up on beats. Are you trying to shut up? <laughs> yeah, just, 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 just a scooch. Yeah. Is it the sound? <laughs> now we're talking business. Okay. Right? So that's real slow. Right? So we gotta bump it up. But do you hear that? That sounds kind of whack. It's like, we don't want that, all right? So you have to add a thing that's called swing, 
And we're probably running out of time a little bit. I was gonna live code the swing component, but it really just does the same thing to start with wood. Um, so in here, right, we heard it was like do, 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 like your friend without rhythm is playing on the desk. Uh, so here, right, what you're gonna wanna do is bust that swing out. And now if I come back here, why don't you go turn that off now? Come on, man. <laughs> now. Oh, you hear that? Oh, oh, you got to speed it up. Now you hear it's got the, it's got the flavor, like the swing. All right. And uh, that's mostly that. I, were, were you going to rap? I will if you throw that beat. All right, maybe I'll put a sample on. Wow. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? Woo, yeah. Kevin on the one and twos, ladies hey. and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. I'm going to try. It's been a long time since I rhymed, so if I forget the lyrics, forgive me. But yeah. I'll take you down with my story. Let me take you down memory lane. Back in the day, there was no alpha, no beta, no production in my veins. My soul was broken, cold, no development to my name. And the only outlet I had was the beat streets in the game. I was wow. Chipping my shoulder, crack me to fractions. At gang street life, I was living, kicked in the action. I did what I had, the living on statins, slipped in the patterns. Didn't go over civilized folk, violence erratic. It's crazy when I think of my life. What you know about sleeping on park benches with clenched fists through the night? What you know about when the breezes is cutting you like a knife? But that's the least of your problems when street beef is in flight. I'm talking, broken home when your father was what you know. Roll it with Zulu Nation and live in Baltimore home. The function of my life in a loop and returning knows the state of my mind reacting to all the drama I hold. The story starts to change it was winter late in the evening. I'm living with my man's and we talking outside and freezing. That cold wind of breeze smacks the temperature of my feelings, but my feelings start to gravitate towards my dad for no reason even. Though I would never be caught tearing. I needed to deal with the situation cause in my heart I was bleeding. It's never pleasing to hold on the brokenness, so this season of brokenness got to break and I'm breaking with trying to see him. Twitter size version was long story, I'm home. My attitude was better, but in my heart I was stoned. I'm still a Zulu nation and calling the streets my home. But one night it all changed when God met me alone. Take of January, almost 12 o'clock. Thought to myself, this whole lifestyle has got to stop. I hear voices talking in my head. Next thing you know, it's like this whole lifestyle has got to be dead. So I, I tasted just a little bit of freedom. This was something that was leading. This is something I was dying to get, something I was bleeding. I needed a different way, so I had to freestyle, and that's the reason why today I stand a man change. That old lifestyle was real strange, but I put an outline on the chalk, it's dead in its back in the days. I resurrected, and now I got a different type of uh, skills that I come correct with. And it was ill, cause on the streets back then things was trying to kill But then I had to flip the script So no longer am I in games on the street But now I code drive a script My whole life can flip And so I stand before you as someone who used to be down But now I'm in success And it's only by his mercy That's the reason why I connect with him on, the, on these dirty type beats That he's flipping in these tracks I was on that outline that was whack And even though it's on the computer not whack I could use my voice to L.I.A. and scratch. Hey! And how you like that? You ain't even know half of the track was freestyle, but it was that. <laughs> oh, it's still looping, so... I'm just gonna let that rock finish shit <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so uh, that was dope. Give it up again! <laughs> Alright, and if, uh, if you want to play with this thing, uh, you should probably clone it locally because the sounds take forever to download. Um, but if you go to uh, GitHub, Ken Wheeler, Hooks Drum Machine, you can see how it works in detail, and you can load up your own sounds and make dank beats too. Thanks so much, everybody.